Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> today is, what is today, Friday? Friday. Yesterday I spent a total of about five hours on the road, which rarely happens. However, I did because I just got out of the shower and I just ate, but I spent all that time on the road because I had to go to the DMV really quickly. I went to the DMV and as we know it, it just takes uh, uh, quite a time so I went in and somebody was there like handing out tickets and like processing your paper so you don't have to be in a place where you don't need to be and so you end up in a place where you need to be at and he was like alright just sit and listen for your number they're gonna call it twice at first you're gonna go up and take the picture and then you're gonna go back for, for like the calling out the letters on the board or whatever. I'm sitting there and I go up for the picture. That part of it was really, really quick. But when it got to the part where the man was supposed to, whoever was supposed to call my number again, the machine, to go to the part where I'm doing like the eye exam, that took forever. I wanted to pee and I could see the bathroom from where I'm sitting, but then I didn't know if when I went to the bathroom, I would have heard my number and I didn't want to miss the number because at this point I'm already sitting there for so long. When I left the part where I did the picture, I asked the girl, I'm like, do I have time to go do um to go to the bathroom and come back and she's like yeah I think you have enough time but I didn't want to chance it because you can't believe them DMV people it turns out the girl was right she was lying I had enough time but obviously when I thought when I realized that I had enough time it was already a lot of time that passed and I'm like at this point it doesn't really make any sense might as well just sit here and wait so maybe I sat for another 10 minutes and then my number was called and I went up there and I'm like how long am I gonna have to wait for another number to be called again because I really have to pee. And he was like, oh no, this is the last step. Do you want to go to the bathroom and come back? And I'm like, no, I can wait if this is the last step. And then it was $77. I thought it was going to be like 30 or 40. I can't even remember how much I paid for my permit the first time when I did it. But this time I really need to get my license because this is stupid. So ridiculous. And I don't want to have to go through that again. You don't know getting my license is going to be quite the process too. But um, yeah, I need to sort that out this time for real. So I am this year before the year ends mark my words but i did all of that yesterday and then i went into primark i was really excited to go into primark because i love primark my friend and i jules we love primark but we went to the one in king's plaza the line was long when i went to the one in make avenue yesterday the line was so long and i'm like these two little things that i have in this basket are not worth standing up in this long line so when i was almost at the register I wouldn't put this stuff back and I'm like, um, no. So I went to Burlington because I really wanted to go to Burlington. And I got a few things for the keto. And then, um, yeah, I left. But I was in Burlington pacing myself, taking my own sweet time, walking around, sitting down when I felt tired, just taking my time because I just felt like I was so tired. I'm like, damn, I'm really getting old because I can't. <sighs> First of all, I never liked, um, shopping in person like walking around for so long but if it's a deal i'm gonna go find it okay but like the walking around for forever is not really my thing and if all burlington's are set up the same way they're kind of unorganized some of the sections so you really have to search for things and i was there searching for a while out of breath tired just wanted to go home so i did that with all of my day yesterday thank god i didn't have to go to work last night i mean i still like i feel like i still would have been fine but i slept from like 5 30 or 6 o'clock when i came home until about 10 p.m i bought these and i'm literally obsessed and these were up at the register you know how they do it all the shit that you're not supposed to be having anyways they put it at the register so you see it when you're checking out so i bought that they're so good i'm glad about them i'm gonna take some to work tonight i picked up a shift tonight and tomorrow night because i want the next few paychecks to look a certain way so pick up a shift okay and i might pick up sunday i don't really know yet i have to see how i feel i did this one ahead of time but that's the only ahead of time i had in me two days max because if i work sunday i'm gonna end up working for seven days before i have a day off and i really do not want to stretch myself so thin and i don't want to affect the days that i'm actually scheduled for so i have to wait until the day of to see how i feel so there's that um I was laying down for the most part earlier. It's 147 right now. I got up. I made some curry chicken foot. Oh, delicacy. If you know, you know. 
I made some curry chicken butt and I made some white rice and I also made some mac and cheese that I thought I wanted but when it was done I didn't even look at it and I made some fried plantains. That's supposed to last for the next two days or, or three maybe, I don't know, I don't really know because I made two packets of like the chicken put together and so when I wake up and I'm getting ready for work I'm gonna have something to eat. I also think tonight I'm gonna take the bus as opposed to Ubering. I'm trying to save money. My friend doesn't work tonight so I might do that. But also, I have to see how I feel when I wake up because I make these elaborate plans and then when I wake up, I <laughs> don't feel like it. So we have to see. But um, yeah, and now I just showered and I'm going to lie down until I feel sleepy. Hopefully, I actually do feel sleepy because this morning I was up at... at I was said I wanted to stay up last night because I wanted to sleep all day today. That didn't work because obviously I was tired from being on the road the whole time. And then this morning I woke up at like 4 because mister was getting ready for work and of course when i woke up at four i'm like all right this is perfect i'm gonna just stay up mm -mm, girl i was tired <laughs> sleep without even knowing it so then i woke up at, i don't even know what time i woke up again okay and then um i said you know what maybe it was after eight or so i went to the bathroom and i took some meat out to cook the chicken butt so it could thaw and um so when i woke up again maybe after 11 almost 12 o'clock i said you know i'm gonna just cook it right now and then i'm gonna lay down because i have like a lot of time so i did that and now i'm done and i'm about to lay down the other day i was on a telehealth visit with my cardiologist and she was like what room are you in and like i'm home she's like oh i see the little <laughs> i died when she did that anyways gotta go see y'all later hello you guys happy sunday <laughs> I slept most of the day away. It's 5.38 p.m. Um, I woke up and I ate something. And I've been sitting in bed watching The Strays on Netflix. Quite interesting. I'll tell you that. Um, I think it's funny because so far I'm 43 minutes in. And it seems like the lady is running away from her past. As a black woman. Like I said, I'm 43 minutes and I still have 55 minutes to go. But I feel like I've never... I can't remember if I've ever experienced not liking being a black person hi everyone i'm currently sitting in the kitchen because i am meal prepping i just made some stew chicken not that much stew chicken and i made some um stew pork i should have curried the chicken but by the time i remember that i was also gonna make the stew pork um i already had the sugar in the pot browning and the pork was not even seasoned or anything yet this pork i did not season it ahead of time and honestly i really do enjoy like pork and those other types of red meats when I season them ahead of time because I feel like they taste different, better, but different. I'm also making this cooker right there. I'm also making some rice with mixed vegetable um, because you see now I'm not the kale and the this and the that type of girl. No, sir. But <laughs> I like a mixed vegetable here and there, like broccoli, I like um, cauliflower, but I also don't have any of those I may have some broccoli in the fridge, but what am I going to make the broccoli with? That would make sense right now. I could steam some veggies. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. But this is my weekend to work tonight. Today's Saturday, so I'm going to work tonight. And tomorrow when I come home, I don't want to have to worry about, like, making Sunday dinner. The most I could do tomorrow is make some rice and peas. And, if I feel, and that's if I feel like it. Because it's not like you could just put on the rice cooker and I could, like, cook. No. You have to be there with it. It's quite the process, which is why I don't make it too often so we have the rice going the meat both meats are basically done and i'm just sitting here i had a little snack earlier but i'm just trying to make sure that i have food for a night where i'm in such a hurry or i literally wake up at like 9 15 and have to go soon like there's something that is already ready to go i spent the day trying to somewhat organize the second bedroom i had to rinse some of my scrubs because it was running out and we have not gone to laundromat um so and these are just my favorite ones because i do have scrubs so many but i'm a little fat right now one and two you know you have your favorites these are the ones that are like stretchy and comfortable the ones that i just bought when i just started my job they were a little exact and they needed to get here within like a specific time so everything else that i bought after that are like better so those are the stretchy materials that I do like. So I have those and I'm trying to. Which I wear those all the time. So um, I have something that I'm going to wear tonight. But still I didn't want to 
you know, I didn't do anything yesterday and yesterday was my day off. So I'm like, you know what? I need to get something done today. I was going to wash my hair, but I changed my mind. I didn't feel like it. So my hair is going to have to carry me through the weekend. I'm off Monday again. The other night when, I, when it was time for me to go to work, I was so tired. I just did not feel like I had it in me to go. But I still went because <laughs> I was talking about on my Instagram. My job is not that hard where it's like, oh my gosh, you absolutely cannot go. No, you can manage. And, oh my gosh, I need to clean that mirror in the... Maybe I'll do that now. Yeah, I'll do that now. Anyway, oh. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do. But I'm going to clean that mirror because I took some pictures in it and it's dirty and it's annoying me so much, especially now when I'm looking at the picture. Finally done with everything that I have to do. I ended up spending a bit more time inside of the second bedroom doing a little something something to it but um I did that and then I um what else did I do I ended up deciding to eat something because right now it's 3 45 p.m so I'm like let me eat and then sleep so when I wake up for work then you know I'll be good to just go and I'll pack something to take with me that would mean that I've only had two meals today so maybe I mean, I have to see how I feel. If I feel hungry, then I'll eat something when I wake up and I'm getting ready for work. And if not, I'll just take the food with me and eat it later. Maybe I could snack here before I, I go and then I could eat when I get to work. Either way, it works out. So, um, yeah, I have my little slap on and my headscarf, but I didn't put the sleep gap over the headscarf because it's going to be too tight and I want to actually sleep for the next God, it's four o'clock, five, six, seven, eight, forty-five. Four hours and forty-five minutes, honestly. So um yeah, there's that. I I didn't have a to-do list for today, but I got a lot done today, which I'm so grateful for. I love when the days are this productive and I wanted to get myself tired too. So I did a lot, especially because yesterday I was off, but even though I was off, I stayed up in this bed the entire day i slept until about 2 p.m and when i woke up i think i got something to eat and then i was i was just not productive yesterday and so i knew that that's how i wanted today to go um so yeah my my scrub top already looked like it's drying it's one of my favorite ones even though i have one there that i'm gonna wear tonight but i'm very excited for that and um yeah the apartment smells good it's nice and clean i cleaned up on my little stand where i do my hair and stuff like that so i'm i'm really happy with like all the things that i was able to get done today anyways i think that's where i'm gonna leave it for today and i'll catch you guys whenever else